Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k divided by square root of k is equals to 2 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Uh, so further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and here in the first method we need to move this k root of k to the right hand side you see here it is divided by left hand side and when we move it into the right hand side it is multiplied by 2 and it will become k is equals to 2 times of square root of k and further in order to find the values of k we need to eliminate this k root sign from right hand side and when we will take k root sign on right hand side it will become k square is equals to 2 times of k root of k and its whole square and further in the next step we have this is this will become k square equals to this 2 square becomes 4 and here we apply this uh, square separately on both of these values and it will become 2 square into uh, square root of k and its whole square. And uh, in the next step you see here this is 2 square becomes 4 and this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here k. So you get k square is equal to 4 times of k and uh, here we need to move this 4k into the left hand side and it will become k square minus 4 times of k is equals to 0. And now here uh, you see that both of these terms involve k. So this means that k be the common term. So here we take common k and after taking common k we get the remaining values are from here we get k minus from here we get 4 is equals to 0. And now here uh, we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k is equals to 0 and the second case is we write k minus 4 is equals to 0. So this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we get the value of k is equals to 4. Uh, this is negative 4 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes positive 4. So here in the first method we get these are the two roots of the given equation. And now here in the next steps we need to verify that uh, is these roots are solution or is these roots are extraneous roots. Uh, so uh, here we need to copy down given question statement for verification of the roots. So we have k divided by k root of k is equals to 2 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 4 so here we verify both of these two roots so here first we verify k is equals to 0 for this we need to put this value of k into the left hand side and it will becomes 0 divided by square root of 0 is equals to 2 so this is the our claim is our left hand side is equals to 2 or not and we know that square root of 0 becomes 0 is equals to 2 and you see here 0 by 0 form is usually called the indeterminate form so uh, if this is indeterminate form uh, in other words uh, we just say that it is undefined okay so undefined or indeterminate forms are same so if this is undefined form uh, so uh, it means that both of the sides are not equal okay if this is undefined so both of the sides are not equal and if both of the sides are not equal so we conclude about that k is equals to 0 uh, be the extraneous root of the given equation because it does not satisfy our given question statement so this is the conclusion about k is equals to 0 and here uh, we move towards the second case and in the second case uh, we put k equals to 4 into the left hand side and it will becomes 4 divided by square root of 4 is equals to 2 and we know that 4 divided by square root of 4 becomes 
2 is equals to 2 and we cancel these terms and we get 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here 2 is equals to 2. This shows that the value of k is equals to 4 is satisfied our given question statement. Uh, so k is equals to 4 be the solution set of the given equation. So this is the our final answer and thank you so much for uh, watching this video. And now here in the next step, we just uh, again solve this problem for second method. So in second method, uh, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is that k divided by square root of k is equals to 2. So this is the our given question statement. And in second method, I can just give you uh, and other technique uh, in which how you get the values of k uh, in a smart way. So for this we need to uh, rewrite uh, this k as we write this k as square root of k multiplied by square root of k divided by square root of k is equals to 2. And you see here this square root of k is cancelled out by this square root of k and we will get here square root of k is equals to 2. And uh, further in the next step, we need uh, to take a scaling on both of the sides in order to uh, remove this square root sign. So when you will take scaling on both of the sides, we will get here this two and this square root are gone. And we get the value of k is equals to here this two square and two square becomes four. So this is the value of k which we get here in second method or and already in the first method we verify this value of k and you see that this value of k satisfied our given question statement uh, so here we just conclude about that uh, k is equals to 4 be the solution set of the given question this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos